a little while ago, I believe it was towards the end of 2019, uh, I finished this guitar. Just one thing I'm not wild about, and that is the action as you get further up the neck. The strings are quite high off the fretboard, and that makes it a little bit uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I have a stuffy nose, you might be able to hear. Uncomfortable to play up here. Don't adjust the truss rod. That's not its purpose. Um, you adjust the truss rod if you find that there is a bow in the neck. And there isn't a bow in this neck. It's nice and straight. There's a tiny amount of what's called relief. That is a very subtle front bow that's put in intentionally to make it easier to play. Don't worry about that for now. But that's not what you use the truss rod for. Normally, adjusting the action you do in two places. At the nut is where you set the height of the strings at that end of the fretboard and at the saddles that's where you set the height of the strings down this end of the fretboard. The trouble is I've already lowered the saddles a bit because I noticed that the action was so high. So that's with the saddles already fairly lowered the action is still quite high. Here's how I'm going to go about uh, reducing the action, reducing the string height at the top of the neck on this guitar. There aren't really many options when it comes to changing the action of the strings. And that's because, as I said earlier, I've already lowered the saddles, so that's not really an option. If anything, I want to raise the saddles so they're a bit more aesthetically pleasing. What I have to do then is make the neck sit higher in the body. And I can do that either by sticking something to the back of the heel of the neck to make it thicker, which I don't want to do, or make the neck pocket shallower. And that's what I'm going to do because the neck pocket is quite deep. So what I'm going to do is glue in a layer to make the neck pocket permanently shallower. So let's get some wood and do that. So I've very slightly changed my plan uh, as to how I'm going to go about this, but only slightly. So this is a slim piece of tortara, which is the same thing that the inside of this neck pocket is made of, because that's what the, the body is made from. Um, it's just handy that I have a nice slim piece sitting around because um, I made some nice wooden dividers for one of my daughter's drawers. Craft supplies or nail polishing supplies, I don't know, daughter stuff. Anyway, so I have a nice piece of tortilla sitting around. I put it through my thicknesser just to make it a little bit thinner. I can just see by looking at it that it's about the right size, but how big is this? So that's about three millimeters, which is pretty good. That's what I want. Um, now I was going to, and I thought I was very clever for thinking of doing it this way, because I figured to myself, well, the heel of the neck is pretty much the same size and shape as the neck pocket. So what I'll do is I will double get some double-sided stick tape and put that onto the heel and then use a flush trim router bit on my router table and route this to the shape of the heel. It is a good idea, it would have worked, but it just occurred to me that this is already so close to the shape of the pocket, just from me cutting it out and sanding it, that I'll just continue to sand this until it fits. And there are some benefits to doing it that way as well. This would have been functional and probably nothing wrong with it, but um, the heel of the neck is slightly smaller than the neck pocket. Not much, because it is a nice, snug, tight fit there, but it is smaller. Whereas I want this to be ridiculously tight and you know, literally completely fill the space. So I'm just going to keep sanding this because it's, it's down to such a closeness now that it requires sanding rather than cutting. I'll sand this until it fits. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that's a good snug, snug fit. There's some, there's a little gap there where I, I just sanded the corner a tiny amount more than I ought to have, and that's okay. Actually, first of all, I will cut this roughly. Roughly to size and shape. Do I have any left in this bottle? Not, yes. I'm just starting to see little tiny bits of glue. You possibly can't see it from where you are, but I can with my eyes. Reaching the end of that join. So I'm going to leave that there. I'll come back this evening and see how that turned out. Okay, well, <laughs> to state the obvious, I can see that the neck is sitting about three millimeters higher in the body, and that should be, should be about as much height as I need. So this will simulate a string. And this is now between two and three millimeters, which is quite low. Normally you'd want it between three and four millimeters. So I will just um, get my chemically polished file out and file away a little of what I've just done. And so I'll just do this for, well, I don't know, five minutes and, and continually check the thickness of it as long as there is a, a thickness of at least a couple of millimeters that's okay because I'm only taking off one millimeter so I might not even need to be doing this for five minutes I'll just do it so I filed the surface of that shim back well I guess now it's just the surface of the neck pocket because it's glued in I filed the bottom surface of the neck pocket back just slightly um, but then I realized it's actually harder to do that than it is to sand back the heel of the neck and that will have the same effect, namely making the neck sit slightly lower. So I went over to the belt sander, way over there among the mess. Can you see it? Spot the belt sander. Um, and sanded the back of the heel of the neck back slightly, a couple of millimeters, maybe just one actually. Um, I did that several times, went back to the sander then came back to the guitar, testing the height of the action each time using the ruler method that you saw before. And now I think it's pretty perfect. Um, I'll show you how perfect it is, or not, <laughs> when I string it up. But before I string it up, I need to sand that edge nice and flush. And, well, now I've got some tidying up to do here, sanding some nice curves back into the volute of the heel. And I also have to finish both the guitar and the neck and I don't have any of the oil that I use this guitar so I've ordered some more and that will arrive soon all right so I mean yeah you can you can see where the join is but it looks all right um, I even have the grain running in the same direction which is nice cool so let's bolt the neck back in now I've just got a few of the strings on so far but I can see that well, basically, I can see that it's worked. So, um, if you remember how high the action was before, well, that's what it looks like now. That's great. Um, that, I think, is pretty much the action that I would want when playing a guitar. Um, can I measure that easily? Possibly not. I don't have a ruler handy. How lazy is that? Let's get a ruler then, shall we? Does this look like one of those video games, like Half-Life or something? I don't have a crowbar in my hand. But... Mm. 
I don't know if you can see that with your eyes, but I can see it with my eyes. And that is about, it's just pushing three millimeters there, which I think is about ideal. Um, and there is still a little bit of room in that string there, in the saddle there, sorry, to raise it ever so slightly more or to lower it quite a bit. So this is what I was going for. This is a great result. And there she is all strung up. I've done some using an Allen key. I've done some fine adjustment here at the saddles just to get the strings at a height that, and I know this is a, a subjective personal thing, but just to get the strings to a height that I'm comfortable with. That's, I think, just shy of, of three millimeters. It's quite a, well, to me anyway, it feels like quite a low action. There is no string buzzing though, because I did a good fret job and the guitar is well set up. So, so, what was the problem and what did we do? The string action was too high to really be comfortable, uh, especially up at the higher frets. And you don't adjust the truss rod to do that because you could lower the strings by adjusting the truss rod to create a back bow, but then that would have a bow in the middle of the neck, which would cause some buzzing. And you don't want that. So what I did is I observed that actually the neck pocket was quite deep. So by gluing a piece of wood into the bottom of the neck pocket and making it shallower, I pushed the neck up, pushing the frets up closer to the strings, thereby lowering the action. I actually lowered it slightly too much, but that was okay, because then by sanding the back of the heel, which I should have showed you actually, but I didn't, by sanding the heel on the back of the neck, I was able to fine-tune that so that now the action is just right. There we are. That's how it's done.